Welcome back to Malachi's Guides, where we want you to win too. Now, this particular episode isn't really a guide. In fact, I realize that most of the games I play are actually kind of old, but I still do stuff that's challenging, so... Malachi's Guides is my name and I'm sticking with it. This particular video was inspired after I joined a Sims 2 fan group on Facebook. When I said that my main sim was already hundreds of days old and was basically immortal, someone expressed interest in seeing all my memories. So here's just kind of the town I started. Over here are the businesses I started as a teenager. Here are some houses that have people in them because as a primarily social sim, a romance sim in fact, you need to have a lot of people in town. That's Blippi, she's my current uh, servo. Alright, so here I am hard at work with my actual business. I build servos and then I sell them at ridiculously high prices. Here's just kind of my first floor. All those roses you see around the property are from Dream Dates. There's my arcade. That's technically a second floor item. There's my pond, my lake, roller skating rinks, so on and so forth. Have a couple cards for no real reason. Now before we get to my wall of memories, I actually have walls of memories here. Uh, let's see, it starts over here when I'm a baby, playing with my brother, maximizing charisma, dad, mom, brother, brother, dad again. Gardening with my mom, uh, hanging out with people, my mom reading to me. She became a plant sim because she was really into gardening. My first date, brother before he ran off to college, me going to college. Me at college becoming a romance sim in full. And then it's just a whole bunch of me kissing people who would go on to become partners of mine. All right, around here we have the birth of my first daughter. Hold on, where is it on the wall? Ah, there we are. You can see a couple more college dates, come home, got abducted by aliens. Oh wait, no, this is after I moved in. You can see there's my daughter studying. Uh, me making more special friends. Officer Demi Moore, my daughter painting. So on and so forth. That's kind of where my paintings stop. Uh, my current aspiration is to have six grandchildren. I thought I accomplished that, but I guess I forgot to marry off my third child, my son. That's Cannon reading with his sister. Sasha. Uh, the alien daughter, my first daughter's name is Jordis, which is Old English for sword. I use the uh, shift code to pump up my stats. No wait, family only, okay. Huh, none of the babies. I don't know. Anyway, there's my helicopter. 
as I said, as a romance sim, one of the personal goals I gave myself was to eventually surround this whole property with these dream date roses. All right, here's my basement. Got the hydroponic gardening set, the hookah. Magic stuff for my servo, and I think my daughter left her stuff behind on accident, so... I don't know, i have to pick that up and then give it to her as a gift or something. I mean, not too much to see down here. I can't put paintings on the wall because I flattened them out. Uh, books. I have a lot of job items. I'll explain that when we get to my wall of memories. There's my pool. A couple of surgery kits. My uh, office. That's how you get down to the basement over there on the right. Skating rinks. Garden. Alright, so... Here, the first floor is actually like a bar slash music stage. Up above that is the arcade. And then up above that is like my actual home business. All I do is sell the servos for ridiculously high prices. So like I make almost three times how much. But since I'm, it's a home business for some reason, my discount extends to my customers. I don't really get how that works, but... Fine, I'm still making a profit. Everything that you see here, none of this was bought with Rosebud or Family Funds Cheats, Mother Load, none of that. Ever since I graduated college, I've just been making money and building this house. As you can see up here, we got like the nursery, three bathrooms, my bedroom. You can see my magic stuff, my hammock. I have a resurrection phone in case I miss anybody too terribly. Kitchen. Over here is like the living room and sauna. I can see my kids' houses from here. There should be a third house. I, I don't know how that didn't save. Maybe I just thought I did it. A uh, couple of coffins up here. I plan to marry a vampire for a little while. And then over here I have the two charisma items. Those are supposed to look down over the sidewalk. That's just me being funny. Uh, as you can see way more room than I need so I'm still just slowly filling everything out as I come back to the game periodically a lot of unused space so far alright but here's what we really came for so here is my tremendous wall of memories As you can see, it begins when I was a baby. I know I don't look like a baby, but the game just updates your icon. Mom taught me to talk. I learned to potty, walk, started meeting people, made friends with my family members. Parents eventually became best friends there. I was busy working, oh, yep, so for the science career, logic, best friends with family, saw my first snow, had three best friends at once, uh, tinkering, secret area, my brother got his first A plus as a kid, then I made best friends forever with him. Maxed out my enthusiasm in science, maximized my logic, tinkering, enthusiasm, and skill. Discovered dance studio. And then as a baby, I reached platinum life aspiration. I did that by farming all these skill points. And it just kind of keeps going like that. If 
Here's where I finally grew up to be a child. And as you can see, that's the order. Discovering more of these secret areas. My first A on my very first report card. Uh, maximize gardening, maximize fitness, enthusiasm, and skill. Things I couldn't do as a baby. He grew up well. I started reading some of the books that benefit your character. Such as Fire Safety is a big one. Lifelong Happiness. I think that slows your decay rates and uh, certainly your decay of aspiration meter. Maximize my nature enthusiasm. Fishing badge all the way to gold. That is gold, right? Yeah, I haven't seen any bronze or silver badges. Yeah. They all say master or something to that effect. Max cleaning. A couple more books I had to go through. The very last thing I worked on was cooking, and then that was all my skills. And then I became ready to become a teenager. So, I bought my first business. And then, of course, most of what you see here is going to be meeting people and vermin from having the bad witch spawn onto the map. Uh, Master of Sales was my first teenage badge. Oh, my very first girlfriend was Meadow. Vermin. Master Roboteer. Toy Maker. Sewer, not sewer. For some reason, I was like annoyed to become a warlock. I don't get that one. Master Flower Ranger. Maximum Magic. Another vermin. My first date. Which went pretty well here, so... I lost her as a best friend. I think I'm not sure exactly what I did, but then I quickly got her back. And then as the date continues, I had my very first kiss and it was with Meadow. I had my first kiss with, I get one for both, made out with her and had dream date for my very first date. So then I go back to work, Pottery Virtuoso. I wasn't using the aging off cheat as a teenager. So if you stay on a downtown map, you just sort of don't age at all. You don't have to go to school or go to work. So as a romance sim, I begin going on a number of dates here, just having a business and working on these badges was eventually going to earn me a bunch of money. So meeting people, vermin, money, milestone, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 10,000. There's my master cashier. Achieved a top rank business. 25,000 master restocker. First date with Azalea. Oh, my, my alien family. Okay. Dream date, so on and so forth. 10 best friends. And then as I'm farming that first romance sim aspiration, naturally the BFFs go up. Number of best friends goes up as I'm meeting new people. Another top business. All right, so here was my last girlfriend as a teenager. Brother goes off to college. 
my best of the best award. First one. I got two. There's my 30 mark. Oh, this book I must have just missed at the time. Oh, wait, no, that's Learn to Study. Back to work. Just kind of doing what I do. All right, so here's where I move out. Oh, I missed my wall of scholarship. So here's where my brother goes to college. This is where I was getting confused. This is the Dean's List stuff. I go to college. Not sure how I pulled that one off. Learned how to cook some things. All right, this is Galaxia. She's the one who took my V card as it were. So on and so forth. Learned how to cook some more stuff. And I just kind of keep making the Dean's List because getting a 4.0 isn't actually about, you know, doing assignments. It's about checking boxes in this game. If you do an assignment, you get 100%. Made Dean's List again. Nathaniel graduates. I make the Dean's List. He grows up well. And then more college life. All right, here's where I graduate. I grew up well, move out, move into this house. I already kind of showed you. And then I get my first job in paranormal because I wanted the phone. Uh, met my neighbors. Promotion. I got burglarized. Kind of met some more people. Just sort of keeps going that way for a while. It must have been a lifetime achievement for me because I finished out the slacker career. Went into science so I could get that plant. And at the time, I thought that I had to maximize my jobs in order to get the items. And then I realized because of my reputation, my skills, my education, my number of friends, everything that factors into getting promotions, I found out that if I take a job, I already am so high on the corporate ladder, I just get the career reward. So... I just started farming those quite a bit. Again, this video is for... Why does she count as a service sim? Huh. I guess any, like, in-town NPCs count as service sims. Oh, I burned something while cooking. Promotions. That's where I quit my job. I quit being a rock star, and I felt good about it. <laughs> oh, first time I ever got rejected, but then, like, turn it around, and... Yep. Some more vermin because I opened up my home business. Best of the best award. Once again. Oh, it burned something else. Some more dating life. Alright, that was like a milestone marker, but I was already platinum for life because of my accomplishments as a literal baby um, promotion so I got abducted by aliens and that led to the birth of my first daughter Jordis at which point her name is sword and then my servo's name was saber 
So I think I just kind of like fell in love with her. So I, I think my thinking was that she'd be the mom. About that's not just a modern family. That's a future family right there. All right. And this is me teaching her all the baby stuff. And just sort of progresses through her life as most of my memories here. It was, that was my first attempt at private school back there. See, that makes sense as a service sim. I became a plant sim and I cured my plant sim. Plant simism. And I have good memories of both for some reason. Uh, this is my daughter going off to college, doing well at college because it's once again just about checking boxes. Uh, so she got pregnant before we got married, so my second daughter's name is Sasha Phillips. Then we got married, and for some reason I was angry about it, because I'm a romance sim. So, go figure. And at some point I became a werewolf. And then I got into it with the person who turned me into a werewolf. I think that was probably, we were just both outside and I did, we were just wrestling around because that's what werewolves do. And for some reason I both disliked becoming a werewolf and disliked being cured. Maybe it hurt. There's my third son. Uh, the unfortunate pool incident. Ooh, that looks bad on me. So like, apparently I started going out with the cop who came to my house. I don't know <laughs> what the thought was there. I wish there were a couple memories. So then she caught me cheating somehow. Like three times, but I don't see who the other person was. I got some stuff with my brother. Saw the ghost of my wife. At that point, I put her tombstone into my pocket so I would stop having negative memories. I think knowledge sims will have positive memories of seeing a ghost. Kids doing well in school, growing up well, meet a couple people. Oh, she grew up badly that time. That's probably because I had two kids at once and my attention was divided. Uh, so, then that happened and then more of their making the Dean's List. All right, then they both graduate, and yup, I see it now. Cannon never had his two kids, so... Again, my reason for that is my next lifetime aspiration is to have six grandchildren. I guess I just never married him off yet. All right, so what else is important here? Anyway, there's my whole wall of memories. As you can see, I've lived for a very long time, and yet I still haven't done any of the vacation stuff. So I think I'm going to work on that next. Here's my inventory, all my fish from fishing. You can see like all of the badges being earned. A lot of magic items. The only spell I use is Apello Sime, and that's just to make romance simming much easier. If I don't have the best date, I tend to not put the flower on the ground. As you can see, here's me farming some of these career items. These must have been gifts. I don't recall ever having made a potion that I didn't intend to use. I got five dusty old lamps in my lifetime, but no memories. I got two treasure chests. There's my styling chair. Alright, here... 
No, that's not the urn. Hmm. Alright, so as you can see, some of these are full, some of these are used. That's how I'm this old already. And how I will continue to remain immortal. At this time, I have... Oh, sorry. Romance Sim is the easiest way to farm aspiration points. Um, you get aspiration points like crazy just for dating, but if you're a romance sim, then you're making extra while you're doing the best farm anyway. And of course, the main thing about aspiration... Okay, uh, my second lifetime aspiration, I chose family. I've never needed a social worker, but grandma's comfort soup is probably going to save my life someday. As you can see, my business stats are through the roof. I'm weirdly slightly in the red, but as you can see, I've made over a million dollars on this property. I'm in the red because I'm currently wor oh more paintings. Um, I'm currently in the process of making servos. That's what I sell. They cost about three thousand to make, and then I'm ridiculously high. Again, weirdly, my discount extends to my customers when it's a home business, but I still make like eight thousand and change. Of course, I'm trying to surround the house in those dream red roses. Strawberries. Oh, for my gardening phase. Oh, there's my wife's urn. And painted canvas. Let's throw these on the wall real quick. So, what exactly am I playing with? Hold on, let me get over there. Uh, I think that's them at college. Yeah, because the computers are cheap. And then there's my wife at, uh, sorry, my daughter at college doing an assignment. Alright, so. Especially those of you who aren't in the Sims 2 fan group, thank you for sticking around this long. Don't be shy about liking and subscribing. I've been building up a huge library of videos to upload for 2022. I kind of gave up last year because it was my senior year. And then I started stockpiling different things so I could go throughout 2022 with a pretty regular schedule. So go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell icon, and we'll see you for the next video. I like to do a lot of no damage type challenges, so there's always something to see. Thanks, guys.